العلم أشراف مطلب وطالبه لله أكرام من يمشي على قادم العلم نور مبين يستضيء به أهل السعادات والجهال في الظلم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام الأتمان الأكملان على محمد رسول الله سيد الأولين والآخرين وإمام الأنبياء والمرسلين والشافع المشفع يوم الدين وعلى آله الطيبين وأزواجه الطاهرات أمهات المؤمنين وصحابته الغر الميامين ومن استنى بسنته واهتدى بهديه إلى يوم الدين ما بعد حياكم الله My dear brothers and sisters, to the uh, continuity of uh, the uh, benefits from the explanation of Kashf al-Shubuhat for Imam Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab ibn Suleyman al-Tamimi uh, al-Najdi rahimahullah ta'ala and it is uh, yani, uh, to show the uh, person who is up on the Tawheed and Sunnah, how to uh, refute and defeat and remove the doubts of the uh, innovators who try to mis, uh, mislead and misguide the people with their doubts. So Imam Muhammad Abdul Rahab is presenting these doubts to you and showing you how to uh, refute them and how to respond to them. And last uh, session, we talked about uh, uh, about uh, two things that Imam Abdul Rahab uh, uh, presented to show us how these people deceive the Lehman people and how we should respond. Uh, I'm going to summarize it and then we continue, inshallah. Uh, Imam Hamad Abdul Rahab said, "Fa'lam an shirk al-awwalina akhafu min shirk zamanina bi amrayd." He said, uh, "And and know uh, that the shirk uh, and know that the shirk uh, the shirk of the uh, mushrikeen, the former mushrikeen." Uh, yani is easier and smaller than the shirk of the mushrikeen of our time today. Meaning, and he means by the mushrikeen of our time is the those who uh, even claim they are Muslims, but they worship the graves and worship the awliya and worship other things other than Allah the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala. These are mushrikeen, even if they are uh, yani, uh, called Muslims, or call themselves Muslims. And then he said, uh, um, they know that the shirk of the earlier people was less serious than the shirk of the people in our time for two reasons, for two reasons. Now you need to know these two reasons. I'm not going to explain. I'm just going to mention them quickly because you can go back to the recording of the last session and there you will find the um, deep explanation. He said the first uh, of the two is that the earlier uh, people, of, uh, the earlier people, uh, the mushrikeen at the time of Rasulullah uh, did not commit shirk and did not uh, subligate to the angels and uh, and the, the awliya beloved uh, servants to Allah uh, and the idols along with Allah, except in times of ease. That is the difference. Now look at this. They did all these things, but only in the times of ease. However, when it is the times of hardship, they then would uh, make their subligation purely and sincerely for Allah the Almighty, just as He, the Most High, uh, said, Naam, as in the as in the uh, uh, ayah number uh, sixty-seven uh, of Surah Al-Isra, and also uh, in the 
uh, ayah number 40 and 41 of Surah Al-An'am. Uh, so he, Imam Muhammad Abdul Rahab, rahimahullah ta'ala, yani, uh, clarified that and, and emphasized it. That is the first reason why the shirk of the former mushrikeen uh, at the time of Rasulullah is lesser than the shirk of many of those who call themselves Muslims today, but they are doing exactly like what the mushrikeen used to do and even worse. That was the first one. The second uh, of what they um, uh, used to do is uh, that the earlier ones, the earlier mushrikeen used to call upon people along with Allah, people who were close to Allah, but, but, uh, be uh, their prophets, be they prophets or awliya, beloved servants to Allah, uh, or angels, or they, the earlier people, the mushrikeen at the time of Rasulullah would call upon trees or stones, things which were obedient to Allah and not uh, disobeyed uh, and never disobeyed Allah. And the people of our time who claim that they are Muslims, but at the same time, they are doing more shirk than the mushrikeen at the time of Rasulullah. These people of our, in our time call upon people along with, the, with Allah who are from uh, the most sinful Look at that. Those who are, those ones like those at the time of Noah, they used to call five people, Nisra, etc. These, as Ibn Abbas said, were yani, uh, awliya of Allah. Awliya of Allah. But look to these people today. They are calling names. If you go by uh, the biography written, written, by the imams of Sufis, not by, uh, yani, uh, as, as they call them, their enemies. Of course, they're, they're, uh, they're enemies. Ahl Sunnah, the people who are up on the way of the Salaf, definitely are uh, enemies of those who try to associate with Allah and worship whoever they are, whatever they call themselves, uh, or uh, link to themselves to uh, Islam or not. These people, uh, the, the mushrikeen our time who claim that they are Muslims, they are calling, they are calling people who are very bad, who were very bad, such as al-Badawi, such as many others, uh, Tijani. These people were very bad, yani bad in their religion. They did not used to worship. And they are bad even in their manners. Look at the, the, the uh, Sufi awliya and the Shia ayat, as they call them. Uh, yani they don't pray, they don't, uh, and they fornicate, they do, subhanallah. It's not something that I am, uh, yani, uh, throwing them with, la. It is in their book. Look, for example, at Tabaqat, Tabaqat al sufiya for Sha'rani. Sha'rani is one of the main imams of Sufis. He wrote this book. It's a biography book uh, in which he, uh, brought the biography of what so-called the major imams of Sufis. And he brought very bad things about them. And he believed that this is good. But when any uh, person with just little uh, yani amount of knowledge and even Lehman without knowledge would not accept it. Akhi, wallahi, the kuffar would not accept it. Yani, when, when you see in his book that uh, yani, some of the awliya used to yani, uh, enjoy yani, uh, as husband and wife, enjoy with an animal, with an animal, subhanAllah. And they say it is uh, uh, permitted and allowed for the wali. What wali is that? What wali is that? When you see that the wali doesn't pray and he lied to his people and say, oh, you guys go pray in the masjid next to you, wherever they are, in Sudan, in Morocco, in India, in Pakistan, wherever they are. They say to their followers, go and pray in the masjid. Okay, what about him? He says to them, I will pray by the Kaaba. How? How? And in and, and, and Sudan, their, their awliya, the Sufis, they say, oh, the wali flies with the angrave. Angrave is the bid. The bid flies him 
to Mecca and pray. I said to some of them, okay, when, when this Wali, a so-called Wali, uh, came to Mecca, did he lead the prayer because his Wali is, is higher than uh, the Imam of the Masjid al-Haram, whether today is Shireem bin Hamid or whoever. Uh, did he lead the prayer or he was led by them, by one of them? Type, if he is led by one of them, how can he accept to pray behind him when that imam considered this wali kafir? Kafir because he claims things which are not from iman, which contradicts iman. So how come? And how come he accepts to pray behind, behind him? And, and who of the people there saw him? And he, these people, they, they don't even feel shame to lie. And the, the problem is those who follow them, they, they, they just believe. They just believe, subhanAllah. So this is what was said in, in the last, um, uh, last session. That, that's the conclusion. Today we are continuing. He said, and it is the greatest of their doubts. So what is that? They say, they say, um, uh, uh, yani, uh, that uh, those people, the mushrikeen, did not used to believe in Allah, did not uh, yani, accept the, uh, the messagehood of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay, what about you? You believe in Allah, as you say, as you say and you say in, so, in, in, in your prayer, Iyaka na'bud, but you you destroy your belief by believing that the wali can create, can sustain, can control the world. And you destroy your belief in Muhammad as the messenger by allowing your wali to legislate for you things that is not found in the books of hadith of Rasulullah So you're worse than them. So he said, <clears throat> and it is the greatest of their doubts. And this as you see, easily can be defeated. If the greatest doubt of theirs is so weak to defeat, anybody, yeah, as Aisha said, you, you don't want to see him fasting except you saw him fasting. And you don't want to see him breaking the fast, except you saw him breaking the fast. Meaning, he used to fast so many days, so often, so often. And he used to pray uh, yani long nights and, uh, and standing and bowing and restorating. And he did not used to keep any single dirham or dinar. He used to give all to the poor, even and to the limit that he used to sleep at night with no food, with no dinner. And his him and his families uh, did not use, yani, used to cook food for uh, three months in a row because they did not used to have uh, food to cook, subhanAllah. And they used only to take dates and water. That said, three months, three months. So Rasulullah used to glorify Allah all the time, he used to seek for forgiveness all the time. And these, these, uh, uh, crazy and mad people say that they're awliya and they don't need to seek for forgiveness and you don't need to seek for forgiveness if you just yani, subligate your wali and you uh, yani, uh, glorify your wali khalas. Uh, all, all will be wiped away subhanallah, subhanallah. Uh, yani, uh, it, a thing is, is given to them which is not which is never been given to uh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the best of mankind so uh, Imam said, um, and it is the greatest of their doubts, so uh, pay close attention. Now, pay close attention to what is going to be said, to, to the reply to it, which is that they say, look at that, they say who? Those grave worshippers, those awliya worshippers who claim that they are Muslims, Sufis and Shia and like that. They say, uh, those about whom Quran was revealed, yani meaning uh, the kuffar of Quraysh who the Quran was revealed about them and uh, yani in their lifetime, 
they did not testify that la ilaha illallah. They did not testify that there is no one worthy worship but Allah. They said la ilaha illallah except one partner with Allah who Allah owns, but he owns nothing. SubhanAllah. Yes, that is shirk, no doubt. That is shirk. But what are you doing? You're doing similar and worse and worse, subhanAllah. And uh, they say, and they rejected the messenger, the messenger uh, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, meaning they did not accept him as a messenger, uh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And they denied the resurrection. Yes, uh, many of them denied that there is a resurrection as Allah Ta'ala informed us in Surah Qab, in Surah, uh, in Surah Al-Waqa'ah, and uh, in, in Surah al Al-Ankabut and in many places, Allah Ta'ala informed us that they denied, yes. But what is the benefit if you admit it, but you don't work accordingly? You don't work accordingly, subhanAllah. What is the benefit then, subhanAllah? Naam. And, um, and said, naam. And then he, Imam Muhammad Abdul Rahab said, that uh, they uh, and they uh, they say the mushrikeen or those who claim themselves as Muslims but they are grave worshippers, they uh, say that they the former mushrikeen at the time of Rasulullah rejected the Quran and uh, declared it to be sihr sorcery. Uh, Subhanallah. And then they say and we do testify that there is no one worthy of worship but Allah and that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. MashaAllah, what is the benefit? You, the munafiqeen at the time of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to say that. But inside they are kuffar. You are saying it with your tongue but your actions is corrupting that and damaging that and destroying that. So what is the benefit of your Iman? What is the benefit? Where is the Iman? Iman is only a claim? No. Iman is a belief in the heart, uh, uttering with the tongue, and uh, practicing or perform, performing with your actions to single out Allah in worship and to single out Muhammad Sallallahu in your uh, uh, submission to the way of worship. Only him to be followed, not any others. If a ibadah, if a worship is not known to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi never you worship Allah with because this is an innovation. Uh, naam. So uh, they say, and we do testify that there is no one worthy of uh, worship but Allah and that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. And we attest to the truth of the Quran. Yani they say that the Quran is true. They did not reject it. Ya akhi, the Quran is uh, criticizing you day and night. It's cursing your deeds. What you do, yani Allah in the Quran say that and you go and make and that. You make partners with Allah. You make similar with, you, with Allah, and, and you say that uh, you uh, attested the Quran. Subhanallah. What is this claim? Are you mad? Are you, uh, yani? Uh, you have to think. Then they say, and we have iman and the resurrection. But what did you do for it? A man said, Ya Rasulullah, when is the hour? Three times, Rasulullah did not respond until it was the third. And he said, where is the one who asked about the hour? He said, I am Ya Rasulullah. He said, what did you, what have you done for it? This is the question. What have you done for it? You believe in it, but what have you done for it? Did you work for it? Did you correct your belief? Did you follow Rasulullah? Did you follow the Quran? You are contradicting the Quran. You are contradicting the Sunnah. Show me one ayah in the Quran allows you to go to the grave of the wali and ask him what you need of forgiveness, of intercession, of, uh, 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 of uh, provision, or whatever, whatever. And they, they, they rely upon the creation and I don't want to say much more than they rely upon Allah, but they fully rely upon creation, fully rely upon creation. And, and, and even yani, 
bad creation, worse creation. Even if it is Rasulullah, you cannot rely upon. You only rely upon Allah. Even if it is Jibreel, you can rely upon. But you rely upon the Lord of Jibreel, Allah the Almighty. So, uh, Imam Muhammad, uh, I, I, and, and they say that we pray and we fast, meaning pray the five time prayers and fast Ramadan. So how can you declare us to be like them? La, I say he is wrong who declare you like the Mushrikeen of Quraysh. No, they are better than you or you are worse than them. You are worse than them. Exactly like the Munafiqeen at the time of Rasulullah were worse than the Mushrikeen of Quraysh. Abdullah ibn Ubayy ibn Salul and Abu Amr al-Fasiq are worse than Abu Lahab who declare enmity with Rasulullah. Abu Jahl. Those two are worse than these two. Why? Because those two, Abu Lahab and Abu Jahl, at least they did not say that they are Muslims. And either hide it cover or practice cover. Hide it cover like the Munafiqeen, Abdullah bin Ubay bin Salul and Abu Amr al-Fasiq and the like. Or practice cover like you guys today who worship the graves of the awliya and say that you are Muslims. You are t testifying that uh, there is no one worthy of worship but Allah, that the Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, that the Quran is true, that uh, and, and you pray five, time, five times uh, prayers and you uh, fast during the month of Ramadan and you perform hajj. But what is the benefit? You are destroying the foundation of your iman. You're destroying it. Subhanallah. So uh, Imam said the response is that there is no differing amongst the scholars. All of them agree that if a, if a man were to attest to the truthfulness of the messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in one matter, but he were to reject him in another matter, that is that is that this man is kafir. Okay, you believe Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in uh, in in salah and fasting and this, but you. Uh, did not believe him in zakah, like those who Abu Bakr Siddiq uh, fought against. And Umar said to him, how come you fight people who say, la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah? He said, wallahi, I will fight anybody going to segregate between zakah and salah. So what about those who segregate between tawheed, tawheed of Allah? They oppose it openly, proudly. They feel pride to uh, worship other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they still say that they are believe, they are Muslims. Uh, similarly, Imam Hadra continues saying, similarly, if the person were to believe in some of the Quran and reject another part of, uh, of the Quran, then he is just like the person who affirmed Tawheed and rejected the obligation of the prayer. What is the benefit? You, yeah, and if we have someone who affirmed Tawheed and he does not worship any awliya or any idols or any trees or anything, but he says salah is not obligatory. It's good to pray, but it's not obligatory. Khamar is not forbidden. It's good to abandon, to avoid, but it's not, it's not uh, forbidden. This one is kafir, kafir. So what about who, one who say that he affirmed Tawheed, but at the same time, he says it's okay to worship uh, the awliya. How, how come he, he, he remain about Iman, about Islam? So he said, uh, and uh, or, or he affirmed Tawheed and the prayer, but uh, rejected the obligation of zakah, the obligatory charity, or, uh, he affirmed all of this, but rejected the fasting. Or he affirmed all of this, but rejected the Hajj, the pilgrimage. So such a person, such a person 
how can he be Muslim? How can uh, we say that he is still remaining Abu Islam? Uh, I think it's Maghrib prayer there. Here we stop, inshallah, and we continue uh, next uh, Wednesday, inshallah, with the remaining of this chapter and all the book. Wallahu a'lam. Wa sallallahu ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.